Okay, guys, good morning, good morning. It is, uh, it's Monday morning. It's wet, nasty, and ugly out. Uh, so, I don't know if you guys have saw the video yet. I know I've been kind of all over the place with doing the videos. Uh, I haven't, you know, uh, well, there's no action. It's all just talking videos. So it takes a lot longer to go through those videos because a lot of it is just uh, stuff that's really not even pertinent to anything. First of all, I want to say I, uh, I appreciate everybody watching the video yesterday and all the comments I got on the uh, on the video I did with, uh, you know, talking about the evolution of, you know, people and financially in their career and how they, you know, do it. I got a, I got a little bit of flat back because well a lot of people don't like some of the channels that I was talking about you know they feel like they they sold their soul or, or whatever see I don't look at none of this YouTube stuff that deep you know uh, because there's not many people you know that uh, that me or you or, or people in the comments that if a big manufacturer came to you you know if you're doing videos and a big manufacturer came to you and said hey you know, uh, we'll give you a lawnmower, you know, a $15,000 lawnmower or whatever, if you'll talk about it on your channel. And people call, some people uh, would call that, well, they're selling out, you know. And, you know, see, I don't really look at it like that. Uh, and I don't have no so, sponsors or nothing. You know? At the end of the day, you know, uh, who would turn down a uh, ten or fifteen thousand dollar lawnmower. I mean, I ain't gonna turn it down, uh, especially if it's a lawnmower that we all know, or a piece of equipment that we all know is a top mower. Like you know, now, well, I ain't gonna turn down nothing. I mean, that be. I mean, who would do that? They they know that I'm not gonna. As long as they know up front that I'm not gonna uh, blow smoke about the product, you know. Uh, and I will tell them that, especially if I know the product is known to be uh, not, you know, if Toro or Xmark sent me a top of the line mower that I would go out and normally buy, I mean, I mean, I mean, who would turn that down? So to call them a sellout, you know, and now I know some of them are harder to watch because well they are really all about that's really their whole channel is about selling something you know uh, and and I get where people are coming from because uh, well it's just a lot of uh, folks out there that sell products and they're not really like I said yesterday they're not really evolving in a landscape lawn care business. And who's to say that they have to do that? Who's to say that just because I started a lawn care business that I gotta that I that that I gotta stay in that business? Who's to say that I can't, you know, take that business and then kind of figure out well you know man this social media this youtube thing it's a business too you know that's how i be you know and 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 then turn that into a business because at the end of the day y'all youtube is a business and you know and i know there's a lot of people that uh that i see not just in my comments but just in general that don't do youtube and they you know anybody with a cell phone can do youtube well, anybody with a cell phone can do YouTube, I guess. Uh, it's not that hard to do, and, and it's, it's not, it's not you know, all that. That's just what people are saying. But for you to be able to make money at YouTube, and for you to be able to do videos that make sense on YouTube, it requires a whole, whole, whole lot of time and dedication to do that. And I'm not... Uh, 
loving on any of the channels I talked about yesterday or hating on any of the channels I talked about yesterday. I'm just stating a fact based on my experience out here. My experience in doing YouTube, I've been doing them three years, three years, y'all. And I hadn't even got 2,000 subscribers yet. I ain't even got, hell, I don't even think I got 1,800 yet or 1,900 yet. And I've been doing it three years. And you figure, if I do a video, we'll say, and sometimes I do more, but we'll say I do average five videos a week. Okay? And you're talking about five videos a week. And we know sometimes I do more than that. And I can't speak for other channels. I, I just know what it, what it takes for me. And maybe I'm missing, missing something. But five videos a week. There's 52 weeks in a year. Five videos a week. There's 52 weeks in a year. Let's do the math real quick. Okay, I got 994 videos, y'all, in three years. That's about five a week. That's what it, that's what the channel's telling me. And so we'll say we'll we we will say. And this is a conservative saying, too. We will say two and a half hours a day. We'll just say two hours a day. And I know it's more than that because sometimes I spend more than two hours editing the video. And then the, the time it takes when you're on a job to move the camera around is stopping you from being productive. That's another. So, yeah. We'll just say two hours a day. I mean, yeah. It's always more than that, but we'll just use that conservatively. And this is what I want people to understand that, you know, uh, that hate on, uh, not, I ain't talking about really hating on me or anything, but I'm just talking about, and, you know, that minimize what it takes to do YouTube at, on, a, on a high level where you get a lot of subscribers. So, I got 994 videos. So, 994. And we'll say I spend two hours a day. So, that's roughly uh, 2,000 hours I got on the videos, okay? <laughs> And the most I've ever gotten in one month is like $240. And I haven't gotten that in a minute. Uh, this month right here, uh, I will get, uh, I will get about $114 or something like that. My views are down. So, we got roughly 2,000 hours. I mean, I, I, it, what bothers me, I guess, and, and I'm, not, I'm not directing it to anybody in the comments or nothing, but what bothers me is, guess, is the perception that anybody can do a YouTube channel. And, and anybody can, you know, don't get me wrong, but can you get views? Can you make money at it? Can you turn it into a business? <clears throat> it's a little more challenging. Because nobody wants to do videos that nobody watches. I mean, at least I don't, you know. So, we got 2,000, and, and, and that's conservative. Two, and, and ever since uh, November of 2019, that's when I started the channel. I got 2,000 uh, 2, hours wrapped up in videos. Okay? 2,000 hours. And I may have gotten $3,500 from, you know, we'll say I've gotten $4,000 from YouTube in three years. We'll just say that. That's about right, though. You know, and I ain't got no reason to lie, right? And I don't, I don't particularly love any of the channels I'm talking about. I do like Andrew Camardi and the Dirt Monkey. 
uh, you know, and I do like uh, Mike Andy's, but I'm not no, I don't watch all their videos, and I don't, you know, I'm not no fanboy of none of them or anything like that. Uh, but I, but game recognizes game. Hustle recognizes hustle, and if you don't do nothing else, you got to respect the hustle. And rather you like them or not, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't like, you know, Coca-Cola, but I have to respect their ability to dominate the market. I don't get. I guess I don't have to respect it, but you know, just being honest and real, I, I do. But that's a whole other story. So I want to get back to the numbers because it's, it's all, it always comes down to the numbers, you know, and and, and you know. Uh, you can't you, you can't minimize people's effort by you know because you don't like them or you can't minimize their effort because they're getting mowers and blah 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 and they're you know I don't know I don't know you know a lot of like I said, I want to get back to the numbers, though. That's what I like. I, I, I want to see the. I, we want. We want to see the numbers here. That's what I want to see. Because I'm curious myself now that I have opened up a can of worms here. So we got two thousand hours, and we got. We'll say we got thirty six months. We got about four grand. In monies, now we really ain't even got that much because I didn't get monetized until shit. We probably got about three grand in money. I didn't get monetized until I hit a thousand. So yeah, so we got three k in money since I've been monetized, give or take. And the first year, I was spending more than two hours a day on the videos. And I wasn't getting paid nothing. Zero. I said zero. So, you know, I don't know, man. It just, it just, it's sort of like somebody, you know, coming in the comments. It's the same concept coming in the comments uh, or, or, or saying things like, well, anybody can do lawn care, and I mean, anybody can 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 uh, you know have a lawn care business and make good money. And anybody can do it. Coming from somebody that ain't never done it, and then, and then them telling me how easy it is and blah 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 blah. But at the end of the day, you know, you, you got to look at it. So three years, three thousand dollars. 2,000 hours. So, you do the math. It's about a buck 50 an hour is what I have made on YouTube. I mean, those are the numbers, man. I mean, those don't lie. You know? So, if I were to, if a, a big manufacturer were to come and give me something, a big mower or whatever, and, and, and help me grow my channel I'm still gonna have to put in all those hours to edit the videos and to and hopefully it'll get a little bit faster but as you evolve in the YouTube world the videos get a little bit better too because you you start learning quicker ways to edit quicker ways to film and you start learning uh, what people want want to watch right So, uh, don't minimize it. You know, if you don't, I mean, I mean, it, because you know, contrary to what people feel about Spencer or Brian's all man, it's not that I'm crazy about either one of them. I don't know them, so I really don't dislike them. I don't know them. It's ignorant for me to say I don't like them because I don't know them. I might not like their channel uh, or or whatever, but I don't. Liar. It ain't that I, I don't know them, you know. 
but it's really ignorant to to, to uh, undermine the work it takes to become, you know, that big with, you know, 100,000 subscribers. That's quite a feat, I'll be honest, you know. It's quite a feat. It really is. So, uh, and this is not coming from somebody that ain't doing YouTube videos. This is coming from somebody that does YouTube videos on the reg. You know, I can't seem to get the views or the subscriber, the subscriber, you know, that uh, the bigger channels get. And I put out uh, just as much, if not more, content than most of them. So I, here I am spending more time on videos and getting less views, which means less money and no products. Just saying. So it's, it, 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 it's just not, I don't know, man, it's just not something that coming from a from from somebody that that does youtube videos it just i i realized and at first i didn't know what i didn't know but i realize now you know and i have realized for about the last year what it would take to be a a youtube uh content creator making a lot of money it takes a lot of dedication and persevere to make a lot of money and now when I say a lot of money, I'm talking about to be able to make a living on it. And uh, so I can easily see how some of the guys start out doing what I do. They do lawn care and, and they and they you know their their appeal is appealing to the general public or whatever. They put videos out on the lawn care and then and they don't know what, you know, at the time that they don't know what their place really is going to be and then they look they look at their channel and they're like damn we are blowing up and all we're doing is cutting grass man now we got this this manufacturer sending us stuff we got this manufacturer want to send us stuff and wow what am i supposed to say you know i'm, I'm, I'm talking from a third party well, what am i supposed to do turn down those products and not become uh, well, and, well, and not be able to get more views and um, maybe get more money because YouTube. And if you get, you know, there are people that started their careers on YouTube and are multi, multi millionaires. I mean, they are. And you're, I mean, rarely, and I'm not saying it, it, it's impossible, rarely do you become a multi-millionaire cutting grass. Well, Ray, it ain't always gotta be about money, but it, it, it ain't always gotta be about money, but the time and dedication it takes to do YouTube videos, it's gotta be about money at some point in time because it takes too much time. You could actually spend more time uh, doing YouTube videos and not getting no views and uh and and really uh under undermine your own business your landscape business because you can get caught up in thinking you're gonna go viral and blah 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 it has to be you know uh something that you can do because you never know what's going to take you to the next level and then you might realize well you know after you know when i started cutting grass i didn't really I, I i never occurred to me that somebody would actually watch a video of me cutting grass and then you got to think to yourself well damn you know i had rather you know do the entertainment in of the youtube videos than actually cutting grass once you see the following that you can get or the subscribers and watch time hours and all that that you can get. You just never know what what's gonna take you there. 
Well, I, I don't believe that Spencer's or any of the uh, or Brian's All Mates or any of the the bigger lawn care YouTube people. I don't believe they started uh, their lawn care business and started doing YouTube thinking that they were going to blow up. It wasn't a, 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 a predetermined thing. They were just doing videos like I am, and all of a sudden, wow, there they are. Then it becomes more of a methodical marketing strategy to be able to get more and more, right? And I think that's where a lot of people, you know, uh, that are watching videos uh, that are really in the lawn care game, I think that's where they get, you know, uh, a little lost in what it took to, for them to get to 100,000 subscribers or whatever, because it takes a lot. Don't minimize it, because it takes a lot. Just saying. Y'all, so uh, I just uh, got over here and I picked up the heating element I need for my dryer. And uh, while I was coming back, I got an email from the city about the building saying I owe them money or whatever. So instead of me going home and doing all that, I'm fixing to go into the building department here because I'm right here by it and uh, go on and pay them if they'll let me pay at, you know, at the counter here and maybe get my approved uh, my building permit. So that's what I'm fixing to go in here and do now. I don't know if they even all allow it. Uh, it's just easier for me to walk in because the place I got the, the heating element from is like 30 yards from the building department. So I'm just going, I'm not even going to move my truck. So I'm going to walk up in here and, uh, and see what I can do. Uh, uh, Peace out. Oh, y'all. Bam. I got the permit. This is the building permit approved. Uh, cost me $145. That's all they was waiting on was me to pay. Uh, you know, well, I got an email last week that was talking about that. And that's what you wanted right there. Uh, that's it that's all i gotta do now if i after i run power to it i'll have to get it inspected you know the, the electrical will have to be inspected and any plumbing i may or may not run to it or too but see you can't do anything until this is done now i can call georgia power and i can see uh you know what uh, their uh, thinking is on getting power. But the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna let them get the building up. Now, uh, it's probably pretty safe to say that it will not be constructed before the new year. But, but I'm stoked, I finally got it. Uh, it took about five weeks to get this. And uh, yeah. <laughs> It doesn't get no better than that, y'all. You know, because see, I want to get the building done. You know, I mean, I, I want to get it, you know, because so, not only because, well, I, 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 you know, I need the building, but I also want to get it done because it's something that's in, in limbo, right? You know, I got a bunch of money out there in it. Uh, you know, I put uh, like $13,000 uh, down. So uh, I don't like having money out there in the street like that for a long period of time, you know, when I'm not getting anything. So that's kind of, you know, um, been my thing. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna go over here and visit my mom real quick. And then I'll go home, uh, get on the phone with the, with the uh, building people. And so they can uh, schedule uh, when they're gonna come out and build it. I don't know how long it'll take them to do it, but uh, I wanna say uh, a, a day or two. You know, I don't think it'll take more than two days as long as they got all the material.